Christian Walker's had a big year. He is a big part of the reason why the Diamondbacks have pushed over their preseason win total that many of the experts set for them on opening day. He and the Diamondbacks are in Milwaukee tonight. Let's give Christian a clubhouse pass to join us on the Monday spread. Hey, Christian, good evening. Thanks for the time. Uh, tell us, give us some insight into the room, into the clubhouse for a team that's had a pretty good year, better than what some may have thought. Yet you guys are playing out the string here against a Brewers team tonight that still has a little bit of a chance left to qualify for the postseason. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You know, this is what it's about. Unfortunately, we're not, you know, we're not in the race, uh, you know, with the Diamondbacks. But, you know, to kind of feel like you're a part of it and you have something to say, um, you have something to do with it, it's, it's fun, it's motivating, it's, it's a great way to finish up the year. You know, the, the team, um, we've, we've accomplished a lot of things we wanted to accomplish this year. But to be honest, you know, we feel like we have a lot of room to grow and you really think, look into the, you know, what we're capable of and, and what we can throw out there for a whole season. And, you know, we're very excited for what the future has in store. Yeah, for you, congrats on what's been a really big year for you. Career highs in homers and runs batted in. It's a top five franchise home run total. Um, tell us about how the power has come this year. I mean, you had a big power year in 2019 as well. But uh, in your own words, uh, what you accomplished this year. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, you know, it was important for me to get back to being the hitter that I, I knew I am and knew I was capable of, um, you know, the, the team. Um, this lineup, they rely on me to drive in runs. That's that's a role that, that I want to take on, and I'm excited to take on every day. And, um, you know, offensively to, to be able to come out and show, you know, what, what I know I was capable of. Um, you know, it was a, it was a long off offseason, um, a hard, hard work in offseason, a lot of resources that I had close to me using. And, um, you know, just, just getting back to, to, to doing what I do and, and doing damage and driving the ball and, you um, it's it's been uh, it's been it's been important for me to to prove to myself and to the people around me that you know this is what I'm capable of. I know you take a lot of pride in your defense as well. So let me ask you the question: You got your choice, game-winning knock as a hitter, or a game-saving play on the defensive side of the scorecard? Oh man, um, to be honest, I think I would, I'd pick the the game-saving side defensively right now. It's it's something that I've had a lot of fun doing this year. Um, I enjoy the reps. I enjoy the work. But, um, you know, to, to see it all, you know, come to life on the field. And I, I feel more confident. I, I, feel, uh, I feel good about my defense. It's, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, to be, able to, to be able to help out the pitchers and make a big play and kill the other team's momentum, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. And it's, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's really fun to be a part of. I know that uh, a lot of players with the Diamondbacks talk about how much fun it's, uh, it has been to be a part of that team because of the tone set by Torrey, because of the guys you have on the coaching staff. So I'm putting you on the spot here. But can you think of a better one-liner this year, a, maybe a better series of one-liners, if I say pick between your manager, Torrey Lavulo and bullpen coach Mike Fetters, who is also a not-so-sneaky, funny guy? Which guy's funnier? <laughs> Man, that's tough. Um, I think I think Fett's role allows allows it to show a little bit more. I think Tory's got a great sense of humor, but you know he um, he's definitely got a role to play. He's he's got to be aware of um, you know the relationships and the dynamics and and not being you know just a friend. So I, I think I think they're both really really funny guys. But I think Fett uh, his his role allows him to you know show that a little bit more. Yeah, uh, Mike Fetters had some big years closing for the Brewers. You're playing the Brewers tonight. And you're facing a guy on the mound who has rolled off a series of double-digit strikeout nights. What's it like preparing for somebody like Brandon Woodruff? Um, yeah, it's, it's it can be tough. Um, you know, he's he's he deserves every every bit of credit that that you give him. Um, he's he's earned that for sure. Um, you know, the hitter's battle is to walk that line of not giving a guy too much credit, but also be aware of how he's going to get you out and what makes him good. Um, you know, all the way, honestly, going back to the, the LA series a couple weeks ago, uh, one thing Tory's done is is kind of try to handle these like like postseason games. You know, like I said, we're not we're not going to be in the postseason this year, but but we can prepare and and learn from these these high stakes games, and you know, maybe maybe uh, we'll be there, you know, in not too long, and, and it'll all be a little bit more familiar. So when this whole thing's a wrap at the end of the week, Christian, what does your immediate offseason look like? Do you take a little time away from baseball, or do you stay on a, a pretty rigid schedule workout-wise? No, I, I decompress. Uh, I take a few weeks and, and just be with my family and, you know, spend some time at home and, and let my, my brain kind of bounce back. There's, there's a physical side. There's a mental side to it. Um, the mental bounces around pretty quick. I get bored 
pretty soon. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll get back in the weight room, um, you know, within a couple weeks. But hitting and defense, that'll I'll give all that probably about a month or so to, you know, kind of run its course and get excited. I, I like getting the itch again and, and getting excited about about baseball. You know, the good news about ending in Milwaukee is you can get your postseason eating protocol off to an earlier head start because of the uh, fried foods that you'll no doubt be a part of in the next couple of days in Milwaukee. Leads me to my final question. What's the spread like for the Brewers? And um, know this, that the guy that runs that spread, Phil Rosowitz, visiting clubhouse manager there at American Family Field, is usually down there running around with popped uh, champagne bottles. And here he is. I don't know if you can see this, Christian. Here he is partying uh, <laughs> after a recent clubhouse celebration. What's the spread like down there? Yeah, no, it makes a lot more sense now after just crushing a <laughs> couple plates of fried chicken. I think they're, uh, I think they're trying to weigh us down a little bit. They know these games are important. <laughs> Very good. Fried chicken spread uh, on a Monday. You guys will miss Fish Fry Friday, but it's probably enough fried food to last you the rest of the month. Christian, congrats on a great year, man. Thanks for the visit with us, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.